What's up guys? Jason here with feelawesomecompany.com and in this video I want to go over the benefits and potential side effects of Epsom salts, also known as magnesium sulfate. Now, before I jump into the video, if it's your first time here, I'm Jason and this channel is all about health, nutrition, supplementation, and everything to help you feel awesome. And if that sounds good to you, consider subscribing. Now, with Epsom salts, maybe you've used them before, like in a bath, maybe you haven't, uh, but either way, there's a lot of really good benefits to uh, using them from time to time. And so, the first benefit I want to cover is that when you take an Epsom salt bath, you're getting a very absorbable uh, form of magnesium. It absorbs really well through your skin, and this is great for helping to raise your magnesium levels and also helps with uh, both preventing and correcting a magnesium deficiency, which this can have a huge range of benefits, including uh, things like reducing your risk of diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, uh, osteoporosis, asthma, uh, can help if you uh, suffer from a lot of headaches or migraines, it can be really beneficial. Uh, but then it can also help with uh, different mental issues like anxiety and depression. So there's just a ton of really great benefits for you there. Now besides that, using Epsom salts also can help to uh, reduce inflammation, which this is especially important if you have any sort of inflammatory disease, uh, which is just any disease that ends in itis. Uh, but then even if you don't have any inflammatory uh, disease or issues, it can still be really, uh, really beneficial. Uh, just like if you have a lot of inflammation, you're in a lot of pain from it, uh, it, can, it can really help with that. And also again, just going back to uh, like the mental health aspects, inflammation can be a major cause of like anxiety and depression which getting that inflammation under control can be really beneficial for that. And using Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate is a great way of uh, reducing your inflammation. Now the last benefit I want to cover is that uh, using Epsom salts is great for uh, relaxation and promoting uh, sleep. So if you have, like, if you have uh, insomnia or a lot of trouble sleeping at night, Taking an Epsom salt bath uh, in the evening, a little bit before bed, can really help to uh, just relax your muscles, uh, which can also help to relax your mind and just help you to get to sleep much easier. But then also, once you're asleep, the effects are fairly long-lasting and it can help you to not only get to sleep easier, but uh, sleep deeper and for a longer duration. So really great for uh, helping with any sleep issues. So there's a lot of really good benefits to using Epsom salts, but there are some potential side effects that you should be aware of. And so the first is that, I mean, generally with Epsom salts, they're used uh, like topically or externally, like in a bath, uh, but they can be taken orally as well. And uh, one of the main things that Epsom salts do if you take them orally is that they uh, pull water into your intestines and can have a very laxative effect which if you're experiencing some constipation this may provide some benefits for you but for most people I uh, wouldn't recommend taking it orally uh, just because yeah it can have some serious laxative effects which can be very uncomfortable. Now besides that uh, some other things to pay attention to is that some people when using Epsom salts in a bath, they may experience like some like a stinging or burning sensation. Also uh, very uncomfortable and uh, probably not something you want to uh, experience. So if you do have that effect uh, on you, you know, it might not be the best uh, thing for you to use. And then the last uh, side effect I want to talk about is that because uh, taking Epsom salt baths is such a great way of increasing your magnesium that doing it uh, too often or adding too much on a consistent basis 
can raise your magnesium levels too high, which can have a lot of serious issues. So if you use Epsom salts, use it in moderation. Uh, and if you do that, you should be fine. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to give it a like if you liked it. And if you want to see more content just like this, subscribe to the channel. And so that way I will see you in the next video. Peace.